hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to download the climate data for rainfall from 1981 to 2022 using earth engine and to visualize our monthly total rainfall data that is our we're going to perform our rainfall time series analysis and export our rainfall data to our Google Drive as a CSV file format so to download and visualize our uh, our rainfall data first we have to define our country boundary layer that is we had to load our country boundary layer into earth engine so to load, to load our country's boundary layer into earth engine we had to define a variable called countries equals to w.feature dot feature collection us dos that is united states of department of state large scale international boundary polygon simple 2017 and well, we had to define our country's boundary layer that is our study area so to define our study area I have used a variable called roi so ROI here represents the region of interest that is our study area so equals to countries dot filter double dot filter dot eq with a specific country name that is Uganda so our study region will be Uganda so next to add this layer into earth engine we have to define map dot add layer ROI so ROI here uh, ROI here represents our study area represents this variable Uganda and the curly bracket here represents the default visualization parameter and output the layer name as ROI so now to center this layer we have to define map.center object ROI so next we have to specify our list of years so list of year represents from the starting year to the end year of our rainfall data required it so we're going to perform uh, we're going to download our rainfall data from 1981 to 2022 so for that so for that we defined a variable called years equals to double e dot list dot sequence so 19 from starting from 1981 to 2022 so next we have defined a, a list sequence for our month so for each year we have around 12 months 12 months so for that we define from january to december so 1 to 12 so for that we defined a variable called months equals to double e dot list sequence from january to December that is 1 to 12 so next we have to load our rainfall data into earth engine so to load our rainfall data into earth engine we have defined a variable called rainfall equals to double e dot image collection UCSP so this is a code so this is a specific code that is used to insert our rainfall data into earth engine and dot select precipitation so from our rainfall data we are specifically selecting our precipitation data so to view this data we are we are using print rainfall dot first so it will give our first uh, data so that is a rainfall first uh, data of our rainfall data so this function is used in order to display our first value of our rainfall data so next we have to set up a visualization parameter that is our the color palettes for our uh, layer and uh, to define minimum and maximum value so to set a visualization parameter we have defined a variable called rainfall vis so rainfall vis represents the rainfall visualization parameter so we are setting a minimum value of 1 and to a maximum value of 70 and we are setting our color palettes from uh, this color represents the blue that is lowest rainfall color and here the double f0303 represents our highest rainfall value that is red color which is marked as a red color it is a red color so to uh, center and add our rainfall layer in earth engine so we have to define map dot center uh, set center 17 here represents latitude and longitude and 2 here represents our zoom level so zoom level ranges from 1 to 16 so to add this layer we have to define map dot add layer rainfall dot mean so here we are using mean function because uh, rainfall data from the year 1981 to 2022 we are displaying all the, uh, all the data set so in order to acquire single uh, data that is a single image we have to define rainfall dot mean so it will give a mean value from mean value of uh, rainfall data from 1981 to 2022 so it will give a mean value from 1981 to 2022 and uh, this is a visualization parameter that is defined here and I'll put the layer name as rainfall so now let me show you the so now let me show you the official site where the the rainfall data we are loading into our Google Earth Engine let me show you that so this is our Earth Engine uh, data sets 
where our uh, rainfall data is available from 1981 to 2022. So this is a climate hazard group uh, infrared precipitation with station data version 2. So the data availability is from 1981 to 2023. And this is a code we have to use in order to insert our rainfall data into Earth Engine. So here we have uh, details about this uh, data, the bands and uh, other things, terms and use in citation. So we set up a minimum value of around 1 and to a maximum value of 17. And now let me get back to uh, Earth Engine. So now let us run this code. So now let us run this code. Go to the option called Run Script and click Run Script. So study region will be Okanda. So here that is represented as this is our study region, Okanda. So now let us wait. Uh, let's wait for our rainfall data is being loading into our Earth engine. So now you can clearly able to view here. So here the red indicates a region with very high high amount of rainfall, and blue indicates a very low or more very low rainfall areas. Yellow indicates the intermediate level of rainfall areas. So red represents a very high rainfall areas and blue represents very low rainfall areas. And yellow represents the intermediate level of rainfall. Uh, rainfall are received. So from 1981 to 2022. From 1981 to 2022. So now let us view the the, in the console section, let us view the property of our rainfall data. So let us go to the property section. So here it has given some uh, information about our rainfall data. So it is starting from 1981 and start time, system start time is around 3471 and system end time is 3478. So this is the computer understandable time for our, that is our time format. So now we have to convert this computer understandable time format to a calendar format that is our a human readable uh, format. So to convert from computer format to a calendar format. So now the next function and what it does is converts our uh, data that is our rainfall data into a monthly and yearly data. So that is it converts our rainfall data into a monthly and yearly. So it maps over the years and creates the monthly total rainfall data. So for that we defined a variable called monthly image equals to years dot map function year. So years here refers to this specific uh, variable that is a variable years so the list sequence from 1981 to 2022 and similarly and returns month dot map function month so here the months refers to this specific variable variable months which has a sequence from list sequence from 1 to 12 that is from January to 12 that is our December so uh, this we are we are basically we are obtaining the image and converting the data into yearly and monthly data so we define a variable called filtered equals to rainfall and we are filtering uh, we are filtering with us filtering by years and filtering by months and uh, next uh, for that we define dot filter double dot filter calendar range year year so output the layer uh, output as layer year and similarly it filtered by months and finally we defined a variable called monthly equals to filter dot sum so it will sums up all the months so for january it sums uh, sums up all the rainfall data and similarly for all the months of that year and similarly it sums uh, all the yearly rainfall data so it uh, sums the yearly rainfall data as well as our monthly rainfall data and returns the monthly and returns at month month and year the sum of uh, month uh, rainfall data and sum of the year rainfall data. So it returns as monthly dot set month here represents our month and year represents our years. So basically what this function it, uh, is doing is it receives our rainfall data and converts and categorized into the sum of monthly and yearly rainfalls. So this uh, this specific code will uh, what it does is it takes the, our image collection that is our rainfall data so our rainfall data 
and will generate our monthly uh, rainfall data for each of the for each month for each month and year so now this is not our uh, image yet so it, to convert this into an image we have to define that is this will gives us one image per month for entire time period so to convert to a, con to convert this into an image we have to define a variable called monthly collection equals to double e dot image collection so here we are applying our image collection from images to generate to generate an a real image so for that we defined a variable called monthly call represents monthly collection equals to double e dot applying image collection from image to create a, a real image and for that we're referring to monthly image so monthly image here represents this specific where it converts the specific function converts our uh, data to a, a sum of uh, a sum of monthly rainfall and uh, yearly uh, rainfall so now to view this data we have defined so to view this our data we have defined print monthly collection dot first so first function here represented so in order to limit the amount of data that is generated as our output so we are just want to see the only one data out of our uh, ranges from 19 uh, that is over 1981 to 2022 we just want to uh, look the data so for that we defined print monthly collection dot first only displays the first uh, data set so we have n number of datas just we want to uh, look this data so for that we're using dot first function so it will generate only the first data not the entire data so now go to the to view this go to the run section click run script So now it has given our output. So let me open this. So we have bands. So it gives a precipitation double EPSG projection and go to the properties. So now we can clearly able to view that. So initially, the properties were like this. The system start, start, uh, start time and system end time. So now we have our, we clearly we have a problem property section. We have a month that is starting from January year 1981. So next we have to summarize our rainfall data for a specific study area. So we have to convert our uh, rainfall data into a, a table of form. So in order to do that for our specific study area that is uh, we are using. So that is our Wakanda. Wakanda is our study area. So zonal statistics will convert our data into a table of form. So it will summarize our rainfall data in yearly and monthly wise in a table of format. For that, we are using this zonal statistic function. So to summarize our uh, rainfall data in a table of format, we define a variable called rainfall Uganda equals to the monthly collection, monthly call here represents our, our monthly uh, collection. So here, so dot map, it fired dot map function image. So next we define a variable called features. So next we define a variable called features equals to ROI. So ROI re represents our study region that is Okanda. Let me show you that. So this is our ROI variable ROI represents our study area Okanda. So what this does is it uh, pulls uh, so pulls our uh, basically what it does is it pulls our image that is our rainfall data image and then use our ROI study region. So so it uh, what it does is pulls our image collection and our study region that is our region of interest study area and extract our extract the monthly n and yearly uh, rainfall data set and assigning to our, to the specific variable called features so next we define a variable called projection equals to double e dot image monthly uh, collection dot first dot projection so projection here basically we're using in order to avoid any uh, errors regarding the misalignment of our projection. So in order to avoid that, we are using our projection function. So next we are uh, next using a return image that is we are performing a zonal statistics function. So return image dot reduce region features here refers to our this variable called that is our region of interest, and we are using a reducer dot mean function. 
so in order to acquire a mean uh, uh, mean data set for each of the month so we are using our reduce dot mean function so in order to acquire a mean data for each of the month with a spatial resolution as around 1000 meters and projection here used in order to avoid any uh, projection related errors so we have defined a variable projection here and to uh, output the to view this uh, data we define print rainfall summary mean output the layer name as print rain that is a rainfall summary mean and this is our uh, rainfall okanda so this is a variable so limiting of up to 10 output values so we don't want all the values to be uh, displayed in this section in our console section so we are limiting up to 10 values so now let us view this uh, zonal summary of our rainfall data so go to the option called run script click run script so our summary is being processing here so we have our rainfall summary mean so we have uh, an output of round 10 so now let us view the futures we have 10 elements we have 10 elements because we have limited up to only 10 values so now let us view this let me view the first feature let me go to the properties so month 1 Africa 1981 so this feature go to the properties so month 2 year 1982 1982 region is Africa and country is Uganda and similarly others other data to month 3 1981 uh, Uganda So now to export our uh, rainfall summary, that is our, I mean, uh, our rainfall data to our Google Drive as a CSV file format. For that we defined a variable called selectors equals to month, year, country name and mean, mean rainfall data. So for that we define export.table.to drive, that is to our Google Drive. And collection here refers to our rainfall Okanda description, the rainfall time series. Uh, we can define a folder earth engine data set file name prefix rainfall time series file format that is csv and selectors represents this specific uh, variable selectors that is month year country name and mean rainfall data so now let us execute this code go to the option called uh, run script and click run script So now you can able to see in this section, the task section, click task. So now you can able to see the unsubmitted task, rainfall time series for our uh, Okanda. Run this. So now, for so now uh, window popped up, initiate a table export, rainfall time series. This is for Okanda. So we defined the uh, drive folder, file name and file format is CSV. So now click run. So now you can able to see here, so it is being exported as a CSV file format to our Google Drive. So we have to wait for a minute to uh, complete this export, our rainfall data. So now you can able to clearly view that the rainfall data for our uh, Okanda has been exported to, to my Google Drive. Now let me open in my Google Drive, click open in Drive. So now we can able to see this is my Google Drive, the Earth Engine data folder. So now this is our rainfall time series data. So now click this option, open with Google Sheets. So now let me download this, go to the file and uh, download. Download as Microsoft Excel. So this is my download section. So you can clearly able to view the rainfall time series. Now let me click this. So in this rainfall time series we have month, year, country name and mean rainfall uh, mean rainfall data. So now let me uh, map this. That is uh, let me uh, let us view the time series analysis for our rainfall data from 1981 to 2020, 2022. So now this is the time series analysis for Uganda 
for rainfall, the mean rainfall from 1981 to 2022. So here we have a month and year and country name and mean rainfall data. So we have a for per year we have 12 months of data. So that is represented here the mean value of mean rainfall. So this is our time series analysis the mean rainfall versus year for mean rainfall for Uganda from 1981 to 2022. So here you can able to see the this particular line indicates a very high rainfall. So in the year 2000 uh, that is in 1997 uh, we have very high rainfall uh, areas region. This was a time where a very high rainfall has been received and also uh, and also in the year 2016 we received very high rainfall and very low rainfall is received in 1981 in January. So you can also view this uh, data so here so this is the mean rainfall versus 1981 the year and month January. So in this video I have shown you how to uh, download and uh, view our uh, visualize the time series analysis for our rainfall data using Google Earth Engine and download our rainfall data as a CSV file format. And this particular rainfall data that is available from 1981 to 2023 onwards. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.